Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or we haven't even met before. My name is Shiv, hello. If you're coming back then welcome. So in today's video, I'm super excited to share this with you. It is a B&M haul. I've never done one of these on my channel before. In fact, I don't think I've actually done a haul. The only thing I've really bought from B&M is some Zaflora. But yeah, I'm super excited to show you what I got from B&M. I'm really getting into these kind of videos at the moment, like watching home videos, cleaning videos, and getting into my cleaning. I don't even live in my own home. Like I have my like bedroom and stuff. But the other day I like deep cleaned the kitchen just because I felt like cleaning. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with it. It's all good being inspired to clean. But yeah, I've been more into like homeware and like lifestyle kind of stuff recently. So I wanted to do a B&M haul and just see what I could find in there. And I'm super excited. I believe I only spent like £25 and I got so much stuff. This is my huge bag of goodies from B and M. And there's some super exciting things in there. Well, I think they're exciting anyway. So if you would like to see what I got from B&M this time around, then please carry on watching. Give this video a big thumbs up if you want to see like more B&M hauls, maybe like a Wilco haul, Poundland hauls, save us all that kind of thing i'm really into those kind of videos at the moment and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already it would mean the absolute world okay let's just jump straight into the haul so i'm just going to show you the most exciting thing first of all when i got this hat it's really stylish <laughs> Okay, make a really, really classic joke. This is a velvet look light shade. It's nine inches and it was two ninety nine, and it's grey velvet and I just thought perfect. I can't believe it, like three pounds for a lamp shade and it's grey velvet. It looks so luxe and I love it. So I got that and I can't believe it was only three pounds. So absolute bargain. I'm in a real kind of like mix of what I want to do with my bedroom at the moment. Most of my room is like mainly white furniture which I will stick to just because it's easier to kind of like accessorize around it and then I have like silver accents like black and stuff and then I have a few like rose gold things and a few pink things not a lot of it but I'm just a bit of struggle of like what I want to do if I want to go down like white and pink if I want to do like white and rose gold black and rose gold silver do you know what I mean I'm not really too sure but I figured I would get the gray lampshade and just kind of see how my room goes eventually the next thing I want to get is a nice office chair because at the moment I just see it no you can't but i'm set on an orange desk chair <laughs> which really doesn't go with my room but we're getting there the first thing i got is this toothpaste which i've already opened because i need to brush my teeth but this is the arm and hammer baking soda toothpaste for the exceptional deep clean extra white i've already used this toothpaste and i will admit it doesn't feel the nicest when you brush your teeth it kind of has like a i don't know like a weird taste to it but it does leave your, your teeth feeling really really clean and almost kind of sweet feeling i don't think it has a flavor on it but it just feels very strange but i don't know i got red lipstick on so naturally my teeth will look a lot whiter but i'm all about the teeth whitening products if it says teeth whitening then i'm probably gonna buy it but i believe this was only a pound so i picked some toothpaste up so the rest of the haul is very like adult products like cleaning things and organizing things but i got something quite kiddy this is the quick milk magic sipper chocolate flavor and basically you put it in your drink and then when you drink through it it becomes like a chocolate milkshake almost so I feel like this would be really really good with like the soya vanilla milk that we have and this was like 39p so I thought this was really fun I don't know I just saw this and was like oh my god what is this but now I've just realized I'm feeling the packet and it's plastic so I feel quite bad I don't know if you can recycle them sorry but yeah I've got bangers and they're 39p they had loads of other flavors but I just got the chocolate ones I thought they're a bit fun I thought why not give them a go kind of wish they weren't completely plastic straws and now I feel like a really bad human being <sighs> Okay, moving on. Oh my god, so many exciting things. Okay, so I've been really into my baths at the moment. I've been trying to relax, trying to unwind and de-stress from everyday life. I also picked up some stuff from Lush the other day, but I'm not going to show you that because... Do you know what? I'm going to show you what I got from Lush at the end of this video because I'm feeling extra generous. <laughs> I got the Radox Feel Pampered Luxurious Bath Cream with Shea Butter and Ginger. They had quite a few of these and these are only a pound in B&M, so definitely go ahead and pick some of those up. You can use loads of it if you want or just a little bit, but I've been really really into my bath at the moment just trying to take some time to myself and I feel like when you have a bath although you're just kind of like awkwardly lying there if I pop like a YouTube video on I get my washing basket out and balance my laptop on the end of it and, and watch like a video then I can like force myself just to take 20 minutes for myself just to relax they had a relaxing one with lavender and another one but this is my favorite one it smells so good and I can imagine it would make your skin feel really soft so I picked that up next up I got some cotton buds and these are environmentally friendly paper stems cotton buds very happy about them. They are from the Bay 
baby bear range so i'm guessing like b&m's like baby kind of range and they were very cheap i can't remember how much they were but they were under a pound and you get 200 cotton buds and i use these to like clean up any mascara that's like gone onto my lid clean up eyeliner that kind of thing i don't use them very often but i feel like it's always good to have them as well and i can pop these in my makeup kit as well but i thought these are amazing the fact that they're paper and they are recyclable so got those next up the heat wave has kind of passed now but it's still quite like muggy in england it's like this weird like sticky temperature it's not really like majorly hot it's maybe like 20 22 degrees most days but i picked up this fan at work it gets so so hot i work in a retail store and the aircon is broken of course when it actually gets hot so i picked up a fan should we just do it now but i also thought i could use this to like be really sassy and set my setting spray with it oh my god Oh my god, I've got an idea. Okay, Primark Matte Setting Spray. Probably could use a more nourishing one, but I can't bother to rummage in my drawers. Okay, and while that's still wet. Oh my sweet Jesus, that is heavenly. You can use it to dry your setting spray. And I got that and it was only £1.29. It also comes with two batteries already in it, which I thought was really good. I just pulled out the little sticky thing that separates it from the connector. But yeah, and I got a pink one, of course. This was actually at the till and it was a very last minute purchase. So if you can't find these, they're at the checkout at the moment. I'm not too sure how often they like switch what's at the checkout. Um, but yeah. The next thing I got was some fabric freshener. I feel like my bed at the moment, I don't know what it is. I wash my sheets regularly, like very regularly, at least once a week. Change my pillows, make my bed and stuff, but I feel like it just needs an extra refresh, like you know when it just gets to that stage. This is the Febreze Fabric Freshener in the scent Gold Orchid, which smells lovely. So I picked that up to freshen up like curtains and my bed. Um, what else can you use it on? Sofas, shirts. Spray fabric until damp. Ooh. Okay, I don't know if how I want to spray it until it's completely damp, but I'll probably just spray a little bit on it. But this just looks amazing, so I picked that up. I think it was maybe like two pounds. Then I also got a reed diffuser. I was looking for one. I was originally gonna get one from Primark, but then when I was getting inside my BM haul, I actually looked online to see what they have, and they're much cheaper in BM. So I got this sparkling berry reed diffuser. Gel beads infused with essential oils lasts up to 28 days, and it was only a pound. And I've seen people putting like diluted sephora, so like this much the flora in it and then the rest of water and then you can kind of make your own scent so i got that i don't know how good that is for you but i don't feel like i've seen any problems people having with it so yeah i'm just going to use that so i'm going to use the rest of this sparkling berry up and then i'm going to fill it with like a little bit of sephora and some water so i've got a little reed diffuser i just feel like i want to make everything smell lovely next up on the kind of shower and bath theme i got this carex strawberry fun shower and bath i know it's quite childish but it just looks really fun you can use it in the bath or as a shower gel and this was only a pound and i i'm honestly like such a big kid at heart i love the really like artificial sweet scents i love them just absolutely love them like artificial strawberry and lime and stuff love it yeah, it just smells like you know that because you can't really get like a real strawberry smell so you know what this smells like strawberry kind of bubble gum kind of scent but i got that and i thought that was really fun and that was a pound next up i spotted this on one of the sides this is the coconut water deep moisturizing foot pack and you basically put your feet like into the little packs for 20 minutes and then massage the excess into your feet i've just been trying to look after my feet a little bit more i gave myself um a proper pedicure the other day like put my feet in like hot water hot soapy water let them kind of simmer with some like simmer like settle i guess with some peppermint oil like buffed away all the dead skin moisturized my cuticles toes that kind of thing so i feel like this would just be good to keep all of the moisture up on my feet and now that it's summer obviously i'm wearing sandals a lot more so i wanted to make my feet look nice and i think this was a pound as well yeah i got that i'll give that a little go this is something really cute from the home section and it's actually a dream catcher which was three pounds and this is so pretty look at this that's quite big actually you've got quite like a big one here a little one here with the feathers running down i thought that would be really cool to like hang above my bed for my dreams I'm definitely a massive dreamer so i feel like this would be really cute in my room i've already got kind of like a tealy brown one that i got as a gift so i thought this would be really cool to like put above it or next to it or something but i really like this it's super pretty and it was only three pounds For actually forgot i bought this which is very handy i got some batiste dry shampoo this is in the scent blush which is my favorite or they do have a cherry one but i went with the blush it's just like a soft floral kind of scent and you can't go wrong with stocking up on it dry shampoo which it will just be so useful i curl my hair quite a lot and then my curls will last the next day but i feel like my roots always need a bit of refresh so i stocked up on some dry shampoo i think this was like maybe like one pound 30 or 
or something like that. And you get 200 mils. I think that's really good. I love b and I'm going to go there all the time. If you want b and hauls, let me know. If you want me to do Poundland hauls, Saver hauls. I can't think of the, all the other cheap shops. But if you want me to do those kind of like hauls, let me know. Because it's definitely right up my street. And it's actually quite easy for me to do. So the next thing is super exciting. I'm actually in the process of slowly like reorganising my makeup and everything. But I'm not completely happy with it yet. So I will be doing a makeup collection video when I am happy with it. But I picked these up. This was only £3. And you get six pieces of like cosmetic organisers. I thought they were attached but they're not which actually makes it so much better because then you can kind of like rearrange how you want them and stuff and I like how they have like pictures of like examples of what you could use them for but I'm really hoping these fit into my Ikea Alex drawers. I'll leave a comment on the screen if they do. I have the nine drawers so I'll let you know if they fit. But yeah I just thought this was perfect to get some organisation because although I do have the drawers I don't like things like sliding around in it. So yeah I got those. I can't believe there's three pounds so if this fits I'll probably pop back and get another one just to kind of fill up the drawers so everything has a place but yeah amazing three pounds like muji who who are muji b and m <laughs> we are at the end of the haul now and i'm not gonna lie i'm actually most excited for these three things i got one zaflora i got two zaflora and i got three zaflora I'm so excited. I've just been really into it at the moment. I've become one of those uh, flora queens on YouTube. And I rate you all, honestly. They just make your room smell amazing. They make your house smell amazing. They're disinfectant. So flora is life. Anyway, so the scents I got were pink grapefruit, which is amazing. And that's the one I actually already have at the moment. Then I picked up this one called Tropical Twist, which apparently smells like beach holidays. I'm actually going to give it a little smell now. This is a limited edition. And in the little box of the flora and on the shelf, this was the only one left so definitely head into B&M um, soon just in case it's like a cellar kind of scent if you're into your Sephora's. Yeah I'm gonna give this a little a little smell. Oh my god I can imagine that'll smell like that is so nice. Okay, so that's like a tropical twist. So make the house smell really nice and summery. I also got lavender. I don't know, I just thought like in the kind of relaxation kind of theme at the moment, I thought this would be really nice to pop in the bathroom or like around my bed area. So like I wipe my bedside table with it, put it in a re-diffuser, that kind of thing to help relax. I'm gonna give this a little smell actually. And these are only a pound in B&M, so definitely pop there. And you get 120 mils, so they're like kind of like the smaller size of Sephora's. Give this a smell. Oh, interesting. Okay, so that one doesn't smell like lavender like straight away, I don't think. But I feel like diluted it would smell quite nice. But my favourite one out of all of those is definitely the pink grapefruit. That is just my favourite. My absolute favourite Sephora. I love it. You can clean everything with it. I've been putting it on my radiators. I've been wiping down surfaces. Been putting it in the sink, in my washing. You name it. Sephora is life and I've become one of the cleaning queens. And I'm all here for it. I'm all here for the organisation and the cleanliness. Okay, so that was the end of my B&M haul. I picked up some really cool bits and I feel like I'm all stocked up for life right now. If you want to see more of these kind of B&M hauls, then let me know down below. If you want me to do any other kind of like cheaper shops, let me know. I am all for doing them. I think they're super fun to watch and it makes a nice little break from doing makeup tutorials over and over again as much as makeup is my heart and my passion. It is quite nice just to like switch it up and do some more like lifestyle type videos every once in a while. So I was just in the midst of cleaning my room and I forgot to film the little lush section of this video. So I'm just going to quickly like insert this somewhere into the video but I'm just going to quickly show you what I picked up from Lush. So the reason for the Lush haul was because I saw Jamie Genevieve's video, her most recent vlog where she did like a little bit of a Lush haul and I was like I really want to do a bath bomb and then Nick kindly was like go get yourself some bath bombs boo. So I was like okay thank you. So I picked up a few. I actually originally went in to get the comforter and um, the bubble bow. It's my favourite thing ever. It smells like Ribena and I love it but they were sold out of it. But they did have the bath bomb version. Um, I've already opened them because I went to show my stepmom what I got but it looks like this like this and I shall be bathing with this very soon. It smells exactly the same as the comforter and it's just the bath bomb version and this was $3.95 I believe but yeah smells incredible. Then I also got a melting marshmallow bath oil which smelt amazing. I'm not really too sure like okay it just says place into the bath. Um, I'm not too sure if it like bubbled or anything. I've never used a bath oil before but this is what it looks like. It smells unreal and I'm hoping it made my skin really soft. But yeah smells unreal. It looks like a little sweet. And this was very cheap. I think that was only like three pounds. Put that in. Hopefully it doesn't go everywhere. So, as I said before, they didn't have the comforter one, but I did pick up the Bright Side Bubble Bar. 
which smells unreal. It's like an orangey version. I think I just got it on my nose. But yeah, this is a bubble bar and I'm super excited to use it. You can break these in half if you want to, so you get more uses, but I'll probably just use the whole thing. But yeah, I absolutely love these and I can't wait to have a bubble bar. Then the last one I got is this humongous one, which is called the Dragon's Egg. It's white with like little bits of blue and pink and stuff in it. And I've seen this in a video where it like bursts into loads of colors. It smells unreal. It's quite like lemony and I'm quite into like the lemon scents, but yeah, that looks really fun as well. But that's what I picked up from Lush. Now just back onto the video. But yeah, if you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. It would mean the absolute world. If you are already subscribed or you just press subscribe, it also means the world. I shall see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Next up on the kind of shower and bathroom, 